What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are doing a reaction to a game trailer. And if you guys like reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin gameplay trailer. Oh my gosh. I actually played the demo. The demo is so good. It was really, really fun. So in this trailer, I'm going to like point out things that I am familiar with and tell you my experience with it and such. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just watch it. Okay. 35th Final Fantasy Anniversary. Wow, 35 years. Congrats. When was this fateful day that sent time spiraling? Ooh, oh goodness. None can say. None can recall the struggle the warriors endured. Oh. And now the return is upon us. Wow. <laughs> Okay, we got these four people that we saw in the previous trailer. Looking good. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It was interesting. Fails the world. Four warriors of light shall come. I'm Neon. And I only count three of you. Deliver this world. Really good voice acting. Oh. Boy's worth. You both don't look like easy pickings. Oh, look at the detail in that. Dang. Water and earth. Fire. Wind. Water and earth. Winds to die. Seas to languish. And earth to cave. Oh. The people are lost. What? That's how you destroyed it? Okay, so, um, there's that part with the cactus. Um, apparently I didn't defeat it. Yo, that whole warp thing is giving me Tales of Arise vibes, because that is like a core. We get some elements in that core, okay? Very fast, I'm very curious about that orb that connected to these elements, and, and he broke it. Whoa, that looks really familiar. That whole orb spear thingamajiggy. Uh, who's this chick? I know its name. Tiamat. You know its name. This looks really advanced. This area is giving me Final Fantasy VII vibes. Yo, this looks like it's in the future. Oh, before it looks like we were in medieval time. It looks like there's like time. Still's blessing be with you. Oh, hello. She looked like she was like a princess or someone, a priestess. As I was saying. Never asked your name. Oh, we. My name is Jack Garland. Jack Garland. Jack Garland, you sound young. You sound handsome. Your name is Jack? What? Oh, goodness. We know his name. March 18, 2022. I can learn more about you until next year month. Oh, man. Next year, March. Okay. Be there. Mm hmm. So, like other trailers, we're going to go back and analyze some scenes. And it was not easy for me to give some feedback of what i experienced while watching the trailer because so much was going on and it was looking so beautiful and there is some voice acting going on and i didn't want to interrupt the voice acting but over here first of all with this one okay he rescued someone maybe it's a woman the female voice that we heard mm -hmm. i'm thinking it's the girl that was talking before i'll show her scene in a bit, but his name is Jack Garland. From what I could tell while playing the demo, 
it seems the other characters that we're playing, working with, seems like they're transported in this world. They're not originally from here. And it looks like they're from different timelines. So I'm assuming Jack and Garland. Garland is supposed to be a beast of a villain and Agnes, yo. But his name is Jack and he doesn't sound evil, okay? I've seen some gameplay of this video and he sounds evil, okay? <laughs> this is quite fascinating. It's like we're humanizing him and it's like he's not really a villain. He's someone that was turned into a villain. He... I really like stories where villains aren't really the bad guys. I like those stories. So you know that I'm going to be totally all over this guy. Okay. Jack Garland. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to like you. Only because of that mysteriousness. Okay. So this is the girl I think is the one Garland is carrying because she's wearing white and she seems important maybe they're connected somehow because her headdress got some horns or and such and garland he's got some protruding things from his helmet from his armor i want to know what he looks like underneath that armor oh exciting so i didn't notice this as i was watching the trailer because so much was happening but we see the element this water looking element with her own orb thingamajiggy but the bigger thing that we saw is it was like an orb a core let's call it a core core sounds like a good description of it it was a core consisting of two elements so we can only assume that there's more than one of these things and we definitely got to fight them i'm wondering if these are going to help us with our elemental magic because from the gameplay it's really interesting you can play different classes so when i was playing you could only play two classes at the same time and you would switch off and there was one for a mage and the mage could use all the elements but i was kind of limited okay and i'm wondering if this helps this part when you're defeating these opponents will it help with the element part i'll find out but it was quite it was fun yeah but i didn't play the mage a lot because you have to cast casting time mm -mm, nope nope you get hit <laughs> So this part over here, this is really cool. There's like wind and electricity happening at the same time. I've only got the wind part. And I think this is the mage because there was one attack where you do a combo. It was R1 and R2 and it did like a cyclone thing. That was for the mage. I'm wondering if I can't tell by the weapon for this one because it's like all blurred out. Everything's moving so quick. I'm wondering if this is the mage. If not, if you guys know what class this is for, great. Leave it in the comments. Please correct it. Correct. Bring in the facts. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I think this is the mage because this looks familiar. It's just that there's electricity going along with it. Although the weapon doesn't look like... It looks like it's a fencing weapon. Mmm, and the other, the mage didn't have, it was like a staff-like weapon. It kind of looked like a cleave, to be quite honest. When I got it, the mage weapon that I got, me personally, I only got the basic one. Okay, I didn't get no advanced weapon because I didn't work on the mage. I worked on the other classes. So this scene has the cleave I was talking about. But if you see this, you saw that? Oh my gosh, the character took the opponent's scepter staff whatever it is took it away from them and stabbed it with their own weapon oh my goodness take it away and stab yo that's crazy now whenever this part shows up with the red crystals that happens when the enemy is weak enough and we're prompt to press circle on the controller and then we're able to do this oh my good this is it's pretty graphic you know because afterwards you see the shards scattering and such and it's sort of like blood and our character gets covered with the blood and the weapon gets covered with blood oh great it's great i love these details now 
this part over here, the cactar. I encountered the cactar. This sucker is fast. And I actually, in the demo, I went over this uh, fallen down pillar that was acting as a bridge. We went there. This sucker charges at me and knocks me off the pillar. Yeah. In, well, more like bridge. It knocks me off the bridge. I'm like, what? And so I went after it. I came back. I went after it. I was still on that bridge like pillar and I somehow knocked it off myself and that was it. I was like, that's it. That, that's all I get. I leveled up. So I'm wondering if I got experience, but it looks like from this, this trailer that there was supposed to be more right here. Mm hmm. Yep. I was going to be prompt to press circle, crystallize this sucker and absorb. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. I was supposed to do that. So I didn't really win against the character. I will avenge myself. I'm still salty from being pushed off, charged off of that bridge. I'm still salty about that. Now this part over here looks really interesting. Maybe this core thing, this core looked a little different from the other one that we saw where it was just water. This one looks like it was man-made and it's trapping these elements they maybe they're spirits but besides that we can see that our character probably after defeating them is opening up this cage, circular cage this spherical cage <laughs> they are breaking it boom there you go they're free you're free fly away fly 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 away and they're separating well kind of they're not really separating maybe they're gonna like together but besides that this part looks like these light orbs that we see throughout the game we go to it maybe it's just in the tutorial i'm not too sure if it's going to be throughout the game but in the tutorial we go to it and we absorb and it's giving us info and such ours looks like legit like a mini sun it's yellowish gold orange but more on the yellow side that's what it looks like as it's shrinking down like that right there mm -hmm. it looks really familiar look it looks like they're fusing together they are synthesizing oh especially this part see it's turning yellow and I won't know what it is until I play the game. Okay. <laughs> now this lady over here, she looks like she was a scientist and such. Not too sure. She looks really modern with that lipstick. That lipstick is looking really good. Oh my goodness. It looks so real. It looks like she's in a laboratory. There's a lot of modern technology. A lot of modern technology. I'm not too sure if this is the same world, same timeline, because we saw that king. We saw that pirate. That looks like back in the day. And over here, when I was watching or actually playing, when I was playing the demo, I noticed that he had those earpieces, you know, like Bluetooth earbuds. Totally looks like that. Looks like Bluetooth for cell phones and such. And I was like, wait, why does he have that? That's so modern. And then we saw the outfits of the other characters, totally modern, totally look like from our world. And then he busts out a phone and it's like, okay, you're definitely not from this world because <laughs> you got a cell phone that plays music for you. It's really interesting. I'm really curious on how this story is going to play out. I want to know why they're there. I want to know what they were like before they went to this world. Like there's something about their lives that must have resonated with this story, with this world to save it and such. I mean, if they got one, what about Jack? Jack Garland, he must have a story, right? And that's my reaction slash kind of review to Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin trailer. What did you think about that? And what do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina outside of YouTube and Twitch. I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. 
other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is a Superfina channel reacting slash reviewing to Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin trailer. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!